do-it-yourself room decor that is Tumblr inspired. Tumblr is just so inspiring. It's a great website. I actually do have a Tumblr account, but I never like really reblog things. I just like looking at like the funny stuff and like the style posts and everything and of course the room stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and give this a thumbs up if you like room decor videos and you want me to make more. Can we get this to 15,000 thumbs up? That would be so cool. Like, can we please try and do that? And let's get into the video. So the main thing that you're going to need for these coasters is clay. I just got a few different colors. I have these pastel colors and a white piece of clay. So just unwrap all of them and you're going to take a small piece of it and just kind of knead it. You just have to work on it for a little while. This will probably take like a minute for each piece. And some pieces of clay are like way harder than others. It's really weird. And I'm just rolling them out into longer pieces so that it's easier to tie them together kind of. So once you have a bunch of these, you're just going to combine all of them so that you can mix the colors evenly. This is sort of like braiding, so yeah, I kind of made like a little fishtail braid. And then you basically smash it a bunch of times until you have this like really cool marbled sort of galaxy effect. So after doing this five or six times, you're gonna have a really cool kind of like galaxy marbled looking coaster and you want to just cut out the extra unless you want a circular shaped one but I think it looks best as a square or like a hexagon sort of so I made one a square and one a hexagon and just took off the excess and we're just gonna bake this in the oven so just bake this for however long it, your particular packaging of clay says to. Usually it's like kind of a low temperature, like 175 or 275. Now I'm just taking some Mod Podge and I'm putting some glitter on the end of these. You could also use liquid gilding. I think that looks really cool too. But if you have glitter and Mod Podge, this is super easy to do. And it just makes the edges look really cool and kind of galaxy-like. So love that. Very Tumblr. And if you want some glitter on the front of them too, then you're going to want to seal in some Mod Podge and let it dry. And then you can use it as a coaster. So this is a really easy fan makeover. I'm just taking some spray paint and then take any fan that you have. I got this fan on Amazon for like $10 and it's perfect for my side table. So you're just going to take the outer edge off of the fan and any other pieces that come off you'll also want to take off so that we can evenly spray paint them. With the spray paint you just hold it about 12 inches away and do little short bursts of spray paint and if you have to do a second coat wait like 20 minutes in between. And then you're probably going to want to let this dry overnight before you use the fan again because it'll just smell like spray paint if you use it immediately. You can also spray paint the blades different colors so it has kind of a rainbow effect when it's spinning but I just went with solid blue for this and the next day you can just put it back together. And it just is way brighter and better for summer I think and it's perfect because I get so hot in the summer but Monica doesn't so I like to have a little fan so I don't have to turn on the central air conditioning. So this is pretty awesome because you probably already have the ingredients to make this. It just takes some cornstarch, some baking soda, and some water. So take two cups of baking soda. And just one cup of water. Super easy recipe. So just mix all this together in a bowl, and you can do this in this bowl, or you're gonna see here in a second, we're gonna put this in a pot anyway, because we have to heat it up, so you can mix it in there too if you want. And just put this on medium heat, and keep stirring it around until it's sort of like a mashed potato consistency. It'll take like 10 or 15 minutes. And you'll see, this totally looks like mashed potatoes. Like, you could probably prank someone with this, and tell them it's mashed potatoes, and they'll take a bite and be like, yeah, that's not mashed potatoes. 
Once you've finished heating it, you're just gonna put it on some parchment paper and then place a wet paper towel or washcloth over it until it's cooled enough to touch it. And then once it's cooled enough, then you can start rolling this into a little ball and then whatever kind of shape you want. So I made a starfish and it takes a little while, but you can just freehand this. Or if you have a cookie cutter, that would work so well for this. I mean, you don't need it, but it would make it look like perfect. And then I'm taking the end of a paintbrush just to make little holes in it and give it a more starfish-like texture. So there we go, that's the finished starfish. And I also made some sand dollars and little shells and stuff like that. And I'm just putting this on a pan and we're gonna bake this too, just like the clay. So with the instructions that I had, I baked it for 40 minutes at 175. And then when you take them out, you're gonna wanna let them cool and then you can spray paint them if you want to. So I use a silver color or you could use gold. I think gold would look really good actually. Or maybe a bright color for the starfish. So I got some sand from Home Depot and a hurricane jar from Target. And I just put that in it and I had these little shells that I got from a craft store and they look really good. So I'm putting this tea light in here as well. We're making just like sort of a really cool beachy candle. And now you can put in the little starfish that you made or the sand dollars if they're small enough. And I'm lighting the candle and it looks really cool. I think this would look so good in like a bathroom or your nightstand, something like that. So then I gave my nightstand a little makeover, just gonna ditch the mason jars for a bit. And I put some firefly lights up. What is more Tumblr than these? Honestly, I have no idea. I think they're the most Tumblr it gets. And I'm putting up some Polaroids that I have lining the string lights and I think it looks really cool. And then I'm lighting this other candle that I have. So all of this stuff separately is really inexpensive and it'll make your nightstand look really cool. So those are my little DIY projects. I hope that you guys like them and give it a try. If you do, be sure to tweet it to me because that's like my favorite thing ever is to see them finished and you guys make them because I'm like, oh my God, you actually made it. That's so cool. These projects are all pretty easy. So if you actually do them, you won't be like, why am I doing this? I'll have a playlist at the end if you want to see more of like the do-it-yourself room decor stuff. So it'll be linked below and at the end, you know, well, you know, what? I'll make it right now. So, um, Click right over there if you want to watch it. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and stuff. I got those links right below. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.